Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have part two of this two part card set that we are going to be making. In this video we are going to be making the awesome pop-up box that goes inside of our 3D envelope. So if you would like to see how I created this awesome mermaid themed happy birthday pop-up box, then keep on watching. I've already prepared my cardstock to create the pop-up box and the first measurements that you're going to need are two pieces of cardstock both measuring at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then you're going to need three strips, each strip measuring at three and a half by one inch. Then you're going to be needing your cardstock for decoration and this is going to go on the inside of our box and these measure at four by two and three quarters and then you have another piece that is measuring at one and a half by two and seven eighths and then your final pieces are going to measure at one and a half by one and three quarters and you're going to need two of them and for the outside designer paper so this is the outside of the box you're going to be needing quite a few pieces of designer paper and your first measurement is going to be two and three quarters by two and three eighths and you need two and then you will need another piece measuring at one and a half by two and three quarters two pieces and then you're going to be needing two more pieces measuring at one and seven eighths by one and a half and finally, you are going to need two more pieces measuring at one and seven eighths by two and three eighths. To create the box today, you're going to be needing a few score marks. And on your first piece of cardstock that measures at four and a quarter by five and a half, you're going to hold it on the five and a half side, which is long ways, and you're going to make two score marks, one at a half an inch, and your second score mark should be at two and a half inches. And then on your shorter side, which is also called portrait, you're going to be scoring just one time at one and three quarters. And you are going to do that for both sides of your cardstock. Because you need four corners to make a box. So once you have that down, you can go ahead and burnish your score marks. And then you will do some cutting. So to do the cutting, which I've already done on my paper, but I am going to insert a photo. As you saw, you are going to be cutting out the rectangle and you are also going to mitre your corners and then cut out, cut down the score line. Not cut out, cut down the score line on both pieces. So you should have two similar pieces that look like this. Next, we are going to glue down our tab on one side to the other side of the box. save some time I already went ahead and glued in the inside paper for the box as you can see here this is the placement of them so your bigger piece goes against the back wall of the box and then you have your smaller pieces on the flaps before we close off the box we are also going to go ahead and put the paper on the back of the box as well
Perfect. Now that we have all of our designer paper onto the box, the next thing that we are going to do is to glue in our inserts. So now that you have your tabs glued in, you want to lay them flat and you want to put glue only on the one eighth little rectangle that you've created once you scored it. And if you just fold your box closed like this and press down, lastly we want to glue in our tab finally. Once you have all of your tabs glued in, you should have something that looks like this. I've already prepared all of the elements for the inside of the box card, and these are them pretty much laid out here. This is going to be a birthday card, so I did layer a few pieces of cardstock with a gold foiled cardstock on top to give me a nice little thick happy birthday sentiment for the inside of the box. So to start this off, I'm going to be taking all of my little pieces of seagrass and seaweed, I guess you can call it, and gluing it on the inside of the back of the box. To add extra dimension, I'm also going to be using a piece of acetate so that I can add some height to some of my balloons. So after you went ahead and arranged all your pieces just like how you like them, this is what I decided to go with right here. This is your pop-up box card and that's pretty much the end. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really have fun putting this box together and arranging it to my liking and how I wanted it to look. So that is it and that ends this two-part video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.